Did you know that industrial valves play a crucial role in nearly every industry, from oil and gas to food processing? It's wild to think that these small components are the unsung heroes behind the scenes, controlling the flow of liquids and gases that keep our world running smoothly. Ever wondered how these vital pieces of machinery are made? Stick around, because today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of valve manufacturing. The design process marks the initiation of our journey. Engineers develop detailed drawings of the valve by using up-to-date CAD tools in accordance with specific pressure, temperature, and flow requirements. The valve is simulated to operate under different scenarios to ensure that it meets all operational standards. This will allow for the discovery of any possible concerns before manufacture. One of the newer applications in optimizing the design for efficiency and durability is the analysis of how fluids will flow through the valve using computational fluid dynamics. Next, we select the raw materials. Generally, large valves are fabricated from hard metals like stainless steel, iron casting, or bronze. The choice of metal to be used for the valve depends on the application of the valve, resisting corrosion, and durability being two major factors. The first important process in the production is the valve body casting. Molten metal is poured into prefabricated molds of the shape and form of the valve component. The molds are designed to create the intricate internal and external structures. After cooling the metal and allowing it to set, the molds are released, which then reveals the rough castings. It is the most exciting part of the whole process since, at this stage, the major form of the valve begins to take shape. You may not know that some firms use investment casting for extremely complicated shapes of valves. Such technology allows very intricate and exact castings. The parts are then finely machined subsequent to casting. The castings are refined on computer numerical control, or CNC machinery, so that all dimensions and surfaces are within the required specification. What you may not know is that, in reality, CNC machines can actually hold tolerances of a few microns. For the perfect fit of all moving parts, this accuracy is paramount to the operation of the valve. The next process involved is drilling and threading. Holes are drilled for the valve stem and other fittings. Afterwards, threading is added to provide the secure attachment of various pieces. Each threaded part is carefully inspected to be sure that it meets the requirements of the specification. Proper threading is critical to ensure that there are no leaks and that the valve can assemble properly. It also receives an extra process called thread rolling for some high-precision valves, which adds further strength to the threads and gives them added resistance against fatigue. Now, after all of the pieces have been machined and prepped, it's time to put them together. Workers precisely assemble the valve body, bonnet, and stem with the other internal parts. Precision here counts most. In addition, lubricants and seals are provided for the smooth operation without leakage. The process is more critical in larger valves that can sustain high pressure and flow. Some sophisticated polymer seals, which are capable of withstanding high temperatures and chemicals, are installed in some valves. Before dispatch, the valves undergo rigorous quality testing. Every single valve is put through high pressure testing to ensure that it will handle the conditions under which it will be operating. Other tests check for leaks, smooth operation, and overall integrity. Any valve which does not pass these tests is returned for rework. Some plants employ ultrasonic testing to find faults inside. X-ray checks confirm the integrity of the castings. After the successful passing of all tests, the valves are surface treated. In this regard, sandblasting and painting could be carried out with specific coatings against corrosion and wear. These valve coatings not only protect the valves from wear, but also leave them polished, improving their cleanliness. Color coding is often used to identify the type of valve or the intended application. More complex coatings, such as ceramic or PTFE, provide protection against high temperatures and aggressive chemicals. Each valve before leaving the plant is carefully inspected for all dimensions, finishes, and markings against the standards. The valves are then wrapped properly to avoid breakage during transportation. In accordance with size and destination, they might be crated or wrapped up in protective wrappings. Some of these values may need vacuum sealing against contamination, especially those of high value or are used for critical applications. And this is how huge valves are made from design to the last inspection. Seeing what sort of precision and expertise occurs at each phase is just unbelievable. Thanks for coming along with us on a tour of We All Makers. If you liked the video, 
please like and subscribe for more behind-the-scenes looks at how everyday things are made. Catch you next time.